Hey everybody, Jason with TechSmith. I just want to show you a couple things that you might not have been aware of inside of Camtasia when talking about the timeline and the tracks. First thing I want to say is if you ever wanted to rename the tracks instead of having it be track one, two, or three, for example, I've got background music here on track one. Well, I can right click on that track one and choose rename track, and then I can name it whatever I want. In this case, I can name it music so that now uh, I can quickly at a glance know what is on which track in my projects. Uh, the second part is, did you know you could easily reorder the tracks? For example, I just renamed this track to music. If I click on the track itself on the title, I can drag that up and down and change the Z order of my project depending on what my needs might be for that particular video. Third, if I have multiple monitors or maybe I'm connected to a large TV or something like that, did you know that you could right click in the timeline and detach that timeline entirely? so that it now is its own floating window that can be put on another screen, blown up to full screen so you can see all your tracks at once. And then if you ever wanna get it back together with the rest of the editor, you simply close that window out, it attaches itself back to the editor, and you're good to go. And last but certainly not least, a lot of people do know that you can make each of the tracks individually larger if you want by clicking on them and dragging up to see greater detail, or that you can do it globally by clicking on this slider here on the left to increase the size of all the tracks at the same time. But did you know you could now shrink down the size of those tracks individually or globally so you can see all the tracks at once depending on how your Camtasia editor is set up? For example, I can now see all eight of the tracks located here inside of this project. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.